Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Last time on 5 Minutes in the Word, we discussed 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. In these verses, we see Paul's thankfulness for the people of Thessalonica for their faith, love, and endurance during difficult times. Continue with us today as we continue our study together. It does. And, and so he goes on in verse 5, and he's still talking about the same thing, really. Uh, which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God that you may be kind of worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer. So, oddly enough, what they're going through, the torture they're going through, the being pursued by the enemy, which they really were, is, is evidence of all things that they are on God's side. Oh, absolutely. And uh, and I think it, it, it even goes further than that. Here is a people that obviously it's evidence they're on God's side, but it's evidence to the fact that what they're doing is it's true and they believe in it. Because if it wasn't, they would not have endured. If they didn't believe this was true and they didn't know this was true and they did not practice it, that the, when the tr tribulation came and the persecution came, they would have left it behind like anything else in, in the world. Sure. But they yeah. knew it was true. They endured through it. Uh, and because what's true, so it speaks to that. It's an evidence that says, "Hey, what these people are doing, it means something. It's important. Uh, it's special, uh, and it should just bring to light a uh, a very, you know, it should bring to light the word of God and just what it can do and how it can transform your life." Right. Uh, and so I, I see that in this too. I do too. So, with all of that as a background, finally, <laughs> finally. In, in verse six, which is really not that far. It's into not. The it's not. I know we joked about that. Where he gets to, it, he does get to it quickly. I think you and I can, we can probably take every single word and just dissect it. Uh, but <laughs> well, uh, so. But what does he say? He says, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you, and I love that. A word repay because it means they're going to get in kind what they gave. Right. <laughs> yes. And, uh, you know, there's, there's no one more loving and more tender and kind than God. But when you're talking about the justice of God that gives grace and peace to those that are obey, but what about those who do not obey? And what about those that cause uh, e evil that, that, as they're describing here? They're going to see a different side of God that, I don't want to see. Uh, right. I don't want to be on that side of things uh, when it all comes down to it. This, the devil doesn't want to be on that, that side of things, really. And, <laughs> right. and, and he, he knows right. that already. He knows he, he knows that. So, I mean, so, yes, this kind of repay, that uh, that's not something that any of us want to take, take part in. No, it's not. But, but now, if we think back and we said they've apparently come to this oddball conclusion we would say so because we have all of scripture right and that their conclusion seems to be well they're going to be raised and we're all going to spend eternity together and paul right off the bat reassures them oh no god's going to repay them for what they have done to you mm -hmm. and as he goes forward he says and to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, you have been troubled. You've not been able to rest because the enemy won't let you rest. Right. And he says, I want to give you something that will give you rest for the future. It is there, and I want to lay it out in front of you. And what's it going to take? It's going to take, of all things, exactly what he talked about, all five chapters, First Thessalonians, <laughs> It's going to take the revelation of Jesus Christ. When he comes, he's going to take care of all of this. Yes, and, uh, you know, as you look at, look at this, you see, you know, here's their, this glorious rest that they're going to be able to partake in. Uh, you also see, as you kind of look down in, in, into this, these next few verses, the, the kind of the bad side of it that, that, that we kind of alluded to a moment ago. Right. You know, as you, as you look here, um, I guess we'll pick up there in verse uh, 8, I believe is where we're at. Yeah. Uh, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey uh, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, these shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he comes in that day 
to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe because our testimony among you was believed. Uh, therefore, we also pr uh, pray always for you that our God would count your worthy that, that you are worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure uh, of his of his goodness and the work of faith with power that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. You see so much in that. I know we've kind of finished the chapter out there, but as we see that you saw what's coming is coming. Well, rest is coming for the people that are in Christ. But what's also coming? Well, destruction is also coming for those that are not in, in Christ. Uh, and, and, you know, and so this is why he says this latter part. This is why we're praying for you. This is why we're thankful for you. This is why that we're, we're coming to you. He wants them to be comforted. He wants them to be in Christ. He wants them to stay faithful. Uh, he doesn't want them to be confused anymore. Yeah. He, he wants them to know that they have a surety in Christ, that they have a promise of home in heaven with him, and that that when Christ comes, and we need to remember that, the coming of Christ is going to be a glorious day that uh, all the saints will get will, will be able to rejoice. Uh, and, uh, you know, and so here we see this. We see that we need to keep working in Christ. We need to stay faithful to Christ. And if we do, when he comes again, we'll be ready.